What's up guys, Spartan 85 here. Welcome to a brand new Seven Days to Die series at the No Crafting Challenge in Seven Days to Die Vanilla. I'm pretty scared about doing this. I have to admit, I did try this once. I forgot to hit the stupid record button on OBS. I died anyway, day one. So, um, but I did, I did get a little practice in this, but this is gonna be no crafting at all. And that includes cooking. I did go ahead and look up on Reddit and what a lot of people do, and a lot of people just don't do cooking at all. So I was going to ask you guys if I should even craft a campfire, but we're not going to do that at all. We have to find everything and use the traders and loot everything, and whatever the game gives us is what we're going to use. So we're starting off on Nomad difficulty. There's some gas right there. Um, we did bump the loot abundance up to 200% because we're going to be looting. I mean, that's our main thing. Uh, XP is 200% also, just to kind of maybe speed the game up. Hordes are every seven days. And uh, hordes are set to 64 zombies, maxed out, if we make it that far. I mean, the hardest part of this entire challenge is just the first couple days. Getting through the first couple days with your fist and whatever the game gives you until you can get some decent weapons, uh, crafting and stuff like that. So, we are in the pre-gen, I'm sorry, the pre-gen 8k map on seven days to die so that's what we're playing on and let's check out this house let's see what the game will give us it spawned us right next to kind of a starter house um a lot of stuff i'm probably not gonna take i mean i'm gonna like feathers why do i need feathers i don't need feathers um i because i can't craft arrows i can't even sell them to the trader because they're not worth anything there's big mama that's a good one to start off with the torch is a pretty good starter weapon. It gives a little bit of damage, but it catches them on fire. That's the key. Catches them on fire. So, I mean, I can just kind of back off and just let her take some damage here. Eventually, she will die. We'll probably have to catch her back on fire. Doesn't really do a lot of damage, though. So, and it does use some... Uh, stamina but yeah this is gonna be the name of the game the first day until we can find something but i don't know i've been wanting to try this just something different to force me to use some other perks to force me to play it out big mama force me to play a different way you know and that's what that's why we do these challenges because it kind of makes you discover more parts of the game uh, of course, Daring Adventure is going to be a big one. Bartering is going to be a big one. But there's going to be other perks we're going to need to like challenge ourselves with in this series. So, we'll see how it goes. Give me some first aid. Uh, bandage? Okay, that's better than nothing. I will grab all this cloth here. Not that I can do anything to craft with it, but can we sell the cloth? Actually, it doesn't sell. Okay, I can't craft with it. Why don't know why I'm grabbing it then? I was so used to grabbing cloth early game. I can scrap things and I can repair things in the in the menu. I can place blocks that I find. I have to find the block though. I cannot create the, the blocks. So I have to find the, the blocks. I can place them down. Um, I can upgrade them once I place them down. Um, but like I said, I cannot craft them. I can buy them from the trader or whatever. So, um, but yeah, I was kind of on the fence about a cooking pot or I'm sorry about a campfire, but the more I read about it, you know, it kind of takes away from the actual challenge. Like there is a no crafting challenge. Like if you're going to be crafting food, then it, what's the food challenge that takes away the food challenge completely. So I just decided, you know what? Screw it. We're not going to worry about the campfire. It, technically, we have to craft it to have it. And this is the no crafting challenge. So let's go upstairs. I think this one has a main loot, per se. Just kind of a starter house. It's Sal's safe house, so it's a tier zero. Usually these have like a couple weapons bags or something like that. That's all they have. Anybody in here? No? Hey, a football helmet. I did bring in a um, a helmet light mod. I'll show you guys what I brought in real quick. I just brought this in, but since we found this right off the bat, let's um, let's get rid of the military helmet. Let's bring the modifier over. Modify. Boom. We'll just wear this football helmet since we found that, and we will just get rid of this military helmet. That way we're 
Starting pretty fresh. We just have a Hell and Light mod, basically, brought it. There's a flashlight. Here we go. We'll wear the shirt, and I can repair that. And wear that. There we go. Like I said, repairing is sort of like crafting, but it's not crafting. So I think we can get away with repairing. Where are the boots? The rotten flesh. I can scrap this for the leather. A little bit of lead. Okay. Oh, I wish I had some arrows. Do that. Anybody in there? No. Come on, lady. Let's get this over with. Oh, I just knocked off her arm. I said that the, the club works okay. I mean, it's not the greatest. There we go. Better than nothing. Better than a hole in the head. So. Another football helmet. Um, we can sell that. 20 bucks. I really don't know why I'm picking these up. I If I get a forge... Um, I guess I could smelt stuff down. That's not really crafting, is it? I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Where? Uh, let's wear the t-shirt. Let's scrap the hoodie. Already searched that. There's a bird's nest here. Like I said, there's really no point in taking the feathers. They don't sell, and I can't craft anything with them. So there's really no point. Big boy! Come on, big boy. You want to catch on fire, don't you? There you go. Everybody's doing it. It's the new... Oh, gosh. It's the new... Tr it's the new trend, big boy. Or when he actually used to be the Hawaiian shirt guy, too. It was the good old days. Goodness. Big boy can put up a fight. Man, and I'm not doing the initial... I know some people do the initial quest uh, to kind of give you those skill points and to locate the trader, but we're not doing that. That requires crafting. So I don't know where the traders are. I'm going to have to find the traders. I can't do the initial four skill points, anything like that, because we are not crafting. So, um, okay. Well, this house is done. Best thing to do probably is to just follow the one of the trails. Um, so I guess this is the one. Take it to a main road and follow the road. See where it goes, basically. That's kind of like the old console version, you know? <laughs> you just find a find a road and see where it goes. So you can... In the console version, you didn't know where the trader was, but a lot of times you're trying to find a town in the console version. There's looks like there's water over there, maybe. I said, I'll grab eggs, because I'll, I'll munch on the eggs while I'm walking, or... Um, I, and cooking, I guess, is crafting. That's a, a style of crafting. So, I mean, we're just got to buy stuff I know of. What do you guys think about cooking? I, I Not crafting the campfire, but actually cooking. If Let's say I somehow came across a campfire in the world. What is this? You know, why is this? Looks like something probably above my pay grade right now. Uh, I don't want to step on a landmine. Yeah, Fort Razor, Tier 3. I hate to pass on it, but I'm going to have to. I will get murdered in this place. Uh, vehicle crafting, we'll just read them. I mean, like I said, crafting we can't do, but we'll read the books. Why not? Um, we could sell them to the trader, I guess, for more money, but we'll read them. Um, you can... Um, from what I read, you can use... The only thing you can craft in this actual playthrough is vehicles. You can craft, you can make vehicles, but you have to have all the parts. You cannot craft any of the parts. So you gotta have the parts, either from the trader or by looting. And then you can craft a vehicle. So... But you can't craft the workbench, so you gotta already have the workbench, basically. 
Ah, no eggs. So that's the only thing we get, or are actually allowed to craft is vehicles. So, um, but like I said, got to have all the parts. And one thing, uh, the water filtration mod, the one that goes on your helmet, is a must for this playthrough. Absolute must, because I'm not able to make... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Not able to make water. I just picked up some feathers. I thought he was getting a little closer. So not able to craft water. So the filtration mod is going to be big. Um, There's a small POI that direction. It's off in this direction. I'm trying to just look. Almost looks like there's a road that way. Let's go this way. It's a southwest. Almost looks like maybe a city down here, or I don't know. But there, I know there is a small POI that way, so if we run into something down here we don't like, we can always turn around. Oh, uh, this is a big house. Journey's End. Ooh. That's a Tier 3, right? I think. That'd be a fun POI to stay at, though. Uh, yeah, Tier 3. Okay. I think I'll pass on that. Oh, I wish I had a stone axe. I'd grab that stump. Uh, what do we have? Is this a city down here? Maybe? Maybe, or like maybe it's just a small village, but maybe there's a trader. Traders are going to be key in this, in this playthrough. Um, very key. Trader quests are going to be big. Being able to buy and sell from the trader are going to be big. That's how we're going to get weapons and just anything really is through that. So I think we have a city. All right. Cool. Um, Harold, I'm going to leave you alone right now. He's probably going to follow me, but that's okay. Oh yeah. This is definitely a city. I have played this map before, but it's been so long. I don't remember anything about it. I really don't remember anything about it. I, uh, here's the Hunic resident. Oh, there's a chicken. Dang it. Okay, so there's a passing gas over there. The Hunic residence. I think that's one of the uh, devs, isn't it? The last name is Hunic. I'd like to search this car. Let's deal with uh, McLovin here. Is that a landmine that just went off? Pretty sure it was. Well, I guess we can see if we can maybe come across a traitor. Usually they're on the outskirts, but they have been known to be in the center. Um, Moe's Grocery. Okay, yeah, that'd be a good POI to start off with. Easy... Easy tier POI. Uh, we can craft the bicycle and wheels. Not that it matters, but we have unlocked that. We'll just kind of run through here and grab some corn. Free food. We, we can't make anything with it, but we can definitely eat it. Gotta be careful there's not a hog in here. They like to hang out in here. Probably is one in here, honestly. Well, this looks like a trader. It's got the... Oh, this is Trader Jen! Look at this! Alright! Let's just mark her on the map. If you are playing this map, uh, this city, this little town is 2610 East, 1912 North is where we are. So here's, and Trader Jin is uh, 2547 East, 1928 North, just in case you happen to be playing this map or something like that. So we'll mark her on the map then. Anything that sells, I'm just going to grab while I'm at Trader Jen's because I'm just going to sell. Even if it sells for, like, one coin, I'm going to take it. Cause coinage is going to be uh, one of the big things we need in this playthrough.
Gothic boots are a little better than the worn boots we're keeping around, so we'll wear the Gothic boots. Found a lot of food in that kitchen. Yeah, a ton of food. Starting off really good. It's a really good start. Sledgehammer crafting, we'll just read it. Um, we, we'll, and also choosing our perks is going to be big. Choosing our perks is going to be real big. Uh, what we decide, what weapon to go, really depends on what the game gives us. That's what it really depends on. You might want to get some antibiotics for that. And more stuff. More stuff. I probably should have sold those books. Like these, I mean, they only sell for 20 though. I mean, we'll just read them. And it gives you, it does give you some XP. It does give, so we unlock Sledgehammer. It does give us a little XP. So probably reading it's the best bet. So like spear crafting, shotgun crafting. Gave us 202 XP. Let's read those two books. All right, let's see what she has nearby. 299 clear zombies. Let's do that one. We'll take it. I have a protection payment coming up soon. All right, they gave us 800 coin. We can just see if maybe she's got a cheap weapon that we can afford. Doesn't look like it. Pipe, pistols, some ammo. Not a lot. Yeah, there's no, not even a melee weapon at all. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna have to find something. I am gonna buy this aloe cream because. Thanks for letting me take. You care see, of you. do I have enough cloth and to make something? First aid bandage. I don't have. Oh, you know what? I can't craft. Ah, but I can use this. I can use that to heal. So okay, we'll buy the first aid cream. Um, not much else we can really do though. Let's go see what this job is. It might be a good place to kind of hang our head for a little bit, maybe. Let's deal with her so she doesn't follow us. Oh, there's a car battery. We'll sell that back to Jen. Ah, is it the passing gas? That's what it looks like it is. The little little passing gas and the trader's right over there. Why it's not showing up on the map? I marked it. I was going to craft a storage box, but I can't craft a storage box. Oh. I was going to put some storage down, but man, I, I it's going to take me for a minute to learn this. To learn this playthrough. It's gonna take me a minute. Let me activate the quest so I don't lose all my all my stuff. Grab that stone. Here's somebody else wanting to dance. Ah, uh, steel spear parts. Okay, we'll grab all that. Probably more storage in this car, isn't there? Usually the cars have a little bit more. Okay, yeah, we'll grab all that. We'll just throw all this crap in here. Oh, yeah, I don't have a uh, an arrow. This is where I'd usually shoot him. I guess I'll get the first hit. That's all I can really do. She's moving kind of fast. Nice. This torch ain't so bad. You got to get headshots, though. I think the headshots really matter with this. And we have a point to spend now. Oh, yucca juice. Let's drink one now. Let's look at our skill points. I think I'm going to go healing factor. Especially early game. Being able to heal myself over time is going to be big. Uh, first couple days. Not so much later when we're able to just, you know, pack first aid kits everywhere and stuff, but I need healing factor on. Ah, uh, blueberry seed. Um, I can't craft farming plots. I can buy them if they're for sale. Or I don't, I've never actually found a, f there is a farming plot bundle. There is a farming plot bundle that the trader will give you and you can find in uh, airdrops. So I could do that.
Wow. That's some cool moves, dude. Oh, a biker zombie. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, this will be fun. Catching him on fire is gonna be key, but he's already got rage mode enabled. Uh, I don't have any doors to use. Oh man, yeah, he's he's all pissed off. Uh, this is where I wish I had a bow. I could do some long distance. Zombies are set to walk. I, w I thought about doing jog. And I might bump it up the jog later on, but man, fighting zombies with your bare hands and a torch is not fun on jog. Not fun. So, we, I do like playing on jog, but not this playthrough. <laughs> I mean, I already stay out of stamina. Oh, blue loot bag. Buddy old pal. Armor crafting, some nine and some roids. I'll actually need those to get back to the trader. Uh, I woke her up. Let's just deal with her now, I guess. Here's another problem I have. I can't really beat into these crates. I'm gonna have a lot of trouble beating into these crates. I guess I can do it with the torch. I don't know how much... Oh my god, there's three of them. Yeah, this sucks. Come on, guys. All right, the job is done, and we didn't lose it by walking away too far, so that's good. I am officially starving now, so I'm going to eat all this food that's in my hot bar. Go. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to break into that passing gas crate, although it is a passing gas crate, so I don't know how much I need it. Can you modify this? You can't. I have a fortifying grip mod that I can't do much with. Blood bag doesn't really help me. Uh, fast hands, learn the advanced reloading technique. See, that does help. Reloading. A uh, couple first aid kits. All right. Let's repair this padded armor. Let's wear it. It's slightly better than what we're carrying around. We'll sell that to the trader. And how many is this? And does the torch do much damage to it? Uh, a little bit. I might beat into that overnight if I happen to stay here. Um... Man, I wish I had something better to beat into this with. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a good place to stay tonight or not. It's very wide open. Very, very wide open. Some nails. I'll just scrap those. They don't really sell for a lot. Moe's back here. Going trying to go through the back door. Moe likes the back door, so... Uh... We'll sell those to the trader. More lead. All right, let's go collect our reward. I'm going to mark this on the map. Just in case I want to come back. Let's uh, grab everything. Let's pop that roid. Say goodbye to Mo. Jen, I need a weapon so bad. Please. I didn't think you had it in you. Molotov, Molotov cocktails. That's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's take the Molotov cocktails. I might have to use those. All right, Jen, that, I'll take that. Clear zombies, three fifty four. Like we'll I take that. Back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. Oh, she does have a stone axe. Level 5 stone axe for 3,400. I don't have enough for that quite yet. But that's, um, that might be good to buy. Stone axe. Uh, does have some sham chowder. Let's buy the sham chowder. Both of them and the goldenrod tea. 
That's about all she has. No building blocks or anything like that. Nothing I can use to fortify myself or even jump on top now of that something. That was a good deal. All right. I got some Z-bags over there. I'll leave them to it. All right, let's take a peek around real quick. Is there, like, maybe a small... I, I saw something on the map here. What is this thing over here and to the right? Is that one of the farms? Oh, yeah. I don't know about this. Jericho Ranch, that's a pretty long clear. Um, okay, we might go back to the passing gas because we've cleared it. I'd say I'd stay on top, but I can't get on top. So, I don't know. Let me eat one of those uh, sham chowders real quick. Get some food. Oh! Excuse me, sir! Oh, I actually want to grab that. Let me just take care of him. I'd like to grab that bag. Oh, I hear a snake! I don't see it, though. Oh, it's right there. Okay, let me just grab this real quick. Come on, come on, come on. I don't care. I didn't even see what it was. I think it was water. I think it was two murky waters, I think. Yeah. Or maybe, it, yeah, I think that's what it was. I don't want to get bit by that freaking snake. That's a cool bridge right here. Look at this. All right. Man, that's a cool sewer system here. Awesome. I will say I'm a big fan of the new cities. The cities are pretty freaking sweet. Box Factory? The Tier Zero? No way. No way. What about this here? This would be a good place to maybe hang out on top of. Um, yeah. How many zombies are in here? Probably a lot. It's two, three. Oh my god. I mean, I feel like I could hang out up top and probably get away. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just hoping elevation kind of keeps them away from me a little bit. It probably won't. Four freaking zombies. Oh my god, that last one put up a heck of a fight. Wow. Man, I tell you what, I, I have got to find some weapons quick. Uh, what do we got? Uh, harvesting tool, okay, I can't do anything with that. There's the passing gas that we were at. I just feel like that's a death trap, but... Let me just make sure this place is clear. Oh, it's still not! I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Are we done now? For a little bit? Oh, there's going to be five zombies here. Uh, What's upstairs? Anything? Let me just see if there's any zombies upstairs. I do have my land claim block. Oh, popping pills. Oh gosh, there's one zombie up here. All right. Oh, see ya, dude. Oh, that worked out. Um, okay. Let's deal with him real quick. I don't know where he went. Is he in here? Oh, so he's like stuck in there. Thousand hit points. 
what I can do is um, I have my land claim block. Oh, I can't put it there, can I? Um, yeah, that's not gonna help. Yeah, that didn't help at all. I just destroyed it too. Okay, dang it. Problem is, he's gonna break out pretty soon and want to fight. Uh, I need to drink more of the goldenrod teas. Let's um, wonder if I could hide in that gas station without anybody really hearing me. Just wonder. Um, let's go do that. So once he breaks out, he's going to climb this ladder and want to fight. So let's go. Oh my gosh, come on. Chicken, let's go over here. Uh, let's go down here. And we're going to crouch. We're going to hit this thing. Probably have to crouch all night, to be honest. Just to stay hidden. So, um, not a great place to fight a zombie. I really don't want to fight a running zombie. <laughs> That's not going to be fun with a torch. There we go. Hey, a stone axe. All right. I can repair it. Bring that sucker down. Finally. Okay, something worth using now. I can crack into that popping pills box now. All right, well, I think the name of the game is I'm going to hide down here. Um, like this. I'm trying to listen. I don't hear anything. So I'm going to hide down here like this, like a little scared little cat. Um, and then try not to let... Hopefully my hunger doesn't go down too far. I do have pumpkins and water and sham chowder. And all those sandwiches, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, I have a yucca juice also, so we should be fine overnight. Um, if anything happens, I'll be sure and show it, so I don't, you know, don't miss anything. Tomorrow we got to go to the job, which is over here. It's actually the way we came in. There's a little house right there, which might be a good place to hang out. Maybe. Uh, we'll do some jobs here, and maybe unlock the next trader. Maybe get a bicycle. Bicycle will help out a lot. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We survived day one. I really can't believe it. I really, really can't. So, um, all right, guys, peace out. See ya. In the shadows of